So, some things happened last night. The first thing that happened was I drank too much wine. And then after that, the second thing that happened was I drank too much bourbon. <laughs> so, a little bit seedy this morning, but uh, we're out and about and there's, uh, there's only a very light breeze. So, I reckon um, once that coffee's settled, we'll uh, get after a little bit of the old uh, long range archery. Um, one of the things I was wondering when, when I bought my single pin sight was um, how far you could actually shoot with it, with a particular bow. Um, and my bow is uh, obviously the Matthews Verdicts that you've seen before, um, and it shoots those 417-ish grain um, cheapo shop arrows at about sort of somewhere between 305 and 315 feet per second. Um, it's set on 70 pounds at a 29 inch draw, um, so it's, it's pretty quick. It's a quick shooting little bow, it's definitely no slouch. It's not a speed bow really, but uh, yeah, it shoots them pretty quick and pretty flat. So um, we're going to warm up at 20 meters I think, get everything, uh, grease that groove nicely, and then um, step it out and go further back I think. So yeah, see how far it can shoot. Very rusty. <laughs> Good enough. I reckon we'll uh, switch over to the left hand side target, which is my further out range target. Usually, if I'm shooting um, in close. Horrible. Horrible noise. I think that's a channel build cuckoo. A large, noisy, native, annoying bird, which I'm not allowed to shoot. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, the uh, I, I normally shoot when I'm shooting up close. I have um, this uh, target on the right, and it has four different aiming points on it, so that I don't stack my arrows too close to each other and risk busting off knocks and stuff. And then, um, yeah, usually I'll step it out sort of around that 50 meter mark. There's generally no risk at all of me uh, busting knocks anymore. So um, yeah, we'll switch over to that uh, left-hand side target and um, it's got a bigger aiming point. So my pin, I can actually see the pin um, and the target. Whereas if I step out too far and shoot those smaller individual targets on the right-hand bail, uh, my pin covers up the whole thing that I'm aiming at. So it's a little annoying and a little tricky, but yeah, it's all good. 50 meters it is. I guess the real question is why wouldn't the sheep be behind my target now? <sighs> it's gotten really humid all of a sudden. We might even get some rain. That'd be nice. How you doing there, big nuts? Right. So here's my group at 50 meters. Not bad. Not bad. I reckon that's, uh, I don't know, maybe the width of a beer can? Gives me an idea. Hmm. Um, but yeah, slight breeze but it's basically pushing sort of from, I guess, from seven o'clock. So you can see I've got my sight set maybe a touch low and uh, the wind is just sort of breezing me over a little bit. So there you go. I reckon that's good enough. We might end up uh, actually doing a bit of damage if we stay at 50. So step it back to uh, 70 maybe, see how we go there. Definitely gonna have to uh, change where my target is though. These idiots are definitely gonna wander in the way. Can't have anything like that happening. It's not annoying at all. Might just go and have breakfast and let them wander on past. Breakfast complete. Had to move some big logs and uh, fence posts and stuff and I got covered in uh, gum tree splinters and uh, absolutely destroyed my pants with my big squat booty. So uh, yeah, F's in the chat for my pants. 
but yeah, changed clothes. We're all good. We're back on. And the uh, the sheep, they've moved out the way, but my alpaca's moved in. So I've lured them up the top here, and I'm going to feed them and keep them away from my target. Is that right, me? Eh? So stay here and don't go and stand behind my target. You're like a sheep with a stupid neck. All right, gonna uh, bump it a little further out. We're out at uh, 70 meters. The wind's picking up. Seems like it's uh, coming from 10 o'clock, maybe five or six k's an hour or thereabouts. Target cam is online. That's a lot of hang time. <laughs> Plenty of time for it to get blown around in the wind. Jank that one a bit. That did not feel good at all. Feels like my early morning rustiness is back with a vengeance. It's a little bit less convincing than my 50 yard group, 50 meter group rather. So there were two there that I um, kicked out a little bit. I sort of anticipated the shot and uh, didn't do a very good job on my execution. So hopefully, uh, hopefully the next round is a little bit better. I'm gonna step it out, go back to, um, I reckon we'll max it out. We'll just go right to the end and, and see how far it'll actually go. I think I can get about 93 meters or 94 meters which is about a hundred yards um, I'll have to double check the math um, Google it and whatever make sure I'm not spitting lies at you but uh, yeah that's about as far as I can go while still having a 20 meter zero so if you shoot in yards and you're using um, a single pen sight like this with a bow that's around that same speed I'd imagine you'd probably be able to get similar results. Right, so we're in flavor country now. I'm out at 92 meters, which is um, just a teensy weensy bit over 100 yards, just to make sure, um, just to account for any error in whatever I'm doing at the moment. But yeah, I'm gonna see if we can get a group and see how that goes. 100 yards, 92 meters, I'm optimistic. <laughs> Gusting and swirling, I reckon at the moment, probably holding right hand edge of the target. So, I usually bring a, um, an older arrow with me, an old flogger, a sighting arrow, if you will. So it's expendable, and that's the one I'm gonna use first. <laughs> Crank the sight, I reckon, up to there. See how we go. Sounded like a very dull thud. From what I can tell, that's low and to the left. So I'm going to crank my side up as far as it'll go, send another one down. And I'm going to aim at the top right hand corner of the target, of the actual black bag itself, not of the actual tape. That sounded better. Sounded like a hit. Uh, yep. Cool. I'll throw a group down there. That looks about right. I think that's uh, halfway up. I can see a shadow halfway up the uh, left-hand side of that square. Sounded good once again. Won't bother spotting them. I'll just put them all in that same point of aim. That one felt a long way to the left. Forgot to lock back my shoulders. All right, let's go and have a look. Surprisingly long walk. Should have bought snacks. All right, here we go. So this one down the bottom, that was my first one. That was when I guesstimated the uh, 92 meter setting on my um, on my site there because the tapes that come with that site only go up to 80 yards. Um, and I'm using meters, obviously, to get a bit more out of it. And because I'm Australian and meters are way better than yards. Um, but after that, I topped the side out completely as high as it would go. Um, and I aimed up there at the uh, 
top right hand corner of this target and the wind's kind of blown me around a bit and a little bit of uh, form issues there but I've got two hits on the target so I reckon with a bow of this speed with a 20 meter zero you can almost like you'd get 90 meters comfortably with no holdover but um, if you are uh, fine with a bit of the old Kentucky windage then yeah 100 yards 92 meters you can sort of hold off a little bit and get some you know put the arrows reasonably close to where you want so yes time to have a little bit of fun I think all right so we're gonna do this in uh, one big long video so feel free to skip ahead if you get bored and you know until we get to where we're going but this is a non-alcoholic beer I drink a lot of these not many of this particular brand though because I bought them and I didn't really like them it's uh, about four inches maybe four and a half inches tall by two and a half inches wide ever so slightly smaller than a regular beer can and uh, yeah we're gonna see if we can hit it at a hundred yards hopefully without having to come back one of those uh, aim small, miss small kind of a deals. So, yes. There it is. So it's backed onto my target there, so that I can uh, actually see it. I have some reference points. I've got a rough idea of where those arrows are gonna land. So, yes. We just begin the, the long walk all the way back to my little firing point. Um, you might be wondering why would anybody want a non-alcoholic beer, um, but for me at least, um, I can drink 50 of them and still drive home, and then the next day I can go back in the gym and lift weights and keep living life. So those ones don't taste very good, but the ones that I've switched over to are uh, Carlton Black, and they're 0% alcohol, and they taste pretty good. So especially when they're cold. If you get them like super crispy cold, when they're like right on the edge of freezing on a, on a warm summer's day, oh, it's just wonderful. I'm gonna be out of breath and all shaky by the time I get all the way up here. <sighs> all right, so. I've got one waiting for me if I win. <laughs> Adjust camera. You up a little bit. All right, sorry for the boring cinematography, but uh, this is my internet credibility. <laughs> sure, I'm visible. Looks good. Looks good. Release on. The wind has changed directions, feels like it's coming from uh, that way, which I guess would have to be 5 o'clock-ish. But that's alright, I reckon we'll still be able to, to get it. I'm going to start with my throwaway arrow, and hopefully, if I do a good job, I won't have to use a good arrow on a beer can. 92 metres, just a shade over 100 yards. One very small target, one light breeze. No. Miss. Arrow number one. That looked like it was low and to the left again. I misjudged the wind. Didn't give it enough height, didn't give it enough wind. Oh! Oh! See that? <laughs> one spotting arrow, one good arrow. That's a hundred yard beer can with a 30 inch hunting bow. 
Excellent. Excellent. Got to be happy with that. Happy enough to have another beer. Cheers. Mm. Ah. So that was the point of aim that I should have used the first time um, after my previous end that I shot. Should have bought me hat. Ridiculous hair. Yeah, so I aimed up in the, uh, the top right hand corner of the actual um, the black bag behind the target. And uh, yeah, you beauty, bang on. Beer can at 100 yards. It's a long walk though. Now I don't know where on the can I hit it. It looks like it, uh, it flipped off to the left. So maybe I pinned it on the right and it sort of jumped off to the left when it decompressed. I don't really know, not really sure. No, it looks like I just grazed it. Just grazed it. Probably enough though. Looks like, yeah. Well, I'm gonna call it good. <laughs> All right, put you down for a minute. Flip the microphone around so you can hear me better. There you go. There's the arrow. That was uh, pretty much bang on. Happy with that. Good shot. And my beer is no longer where it was before. Oh, yep. So I cut the side of it. Not overly convincing. What do you reckon? Should we shoot it again? I think so. I'm not gonna do the whole, let's film everything though. I'm gonna just walk back there. <laughs> no more internet credibility for me. Doesn't really look like it's done uh, any damage to the arrow, which is good. So hopefully if I continue to do stupid stuff like this, I won't end up ruining all my arrows. <laughs> oh, woke the neighbors. <laughs> mm. I'm claiming the win, just so you know. This is uh, this is extracurricular. Hitting the beer can at 100 yards is uh, is the name of the game. So I've already done that. Just gonna see if I can do it a little better than I did it last time. Wind has changed directions. Coming from nine o'clock now. I think that might have been a bit low. That one felt pretty good, but not the best. Starting to get a little bit tired in the shoulders, a little bit sweaty in the hands. I think it's only downhill from here. <laughs> sneaking suspicion that I'm going to be getting down there and finding that I'm misjudging my dope a little bit too much. If I had to guess I'd say they're all low and left again. I'm scared to aim off so far. <laughs> oh, last arrow before I give up, tuck my tail between my legs and head back to the pavilion. Didn't see it fall. I didn't see it fall. <laughs> uh, idiot. I know what I did wrong. <laughs> so there it is. The fruits of my labor. So when I said the wind was coming from nine o'clock, it still is. It's coming from that direction over there. And uh, yeah, I was still aiming on the wrong side of the target. So I've, I've landed them all in fairly close order. But if I had to read the wind properly, I reckon I would have at least gotten a fairly good solid centre hit, so yeah. Uh, Ooh, juicy. That beer is uh, coming back to haunt me already. But yeah, there you have it. So the slightest little anything that you do, even slightly wrong at 100 yards, is uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big difference. I think my uh, competency level is pretty close to getting regular hits on a beer can at 100. But I have to not do stupid stuff like misread the wind and there yeah, and and anticipate letting go of the shot early and stuff like that. Your form's got to be like right there. So there you have it, the hundred yard beer can. That was a bit of fun. 
if you uh, if you want to have a crack at it, film it, and uh, use the hashtag Hundred Yard Beer Can, and um, I will look it up. I'll keep an eye on that hashtag and uh, I'll uh, follow along and see if you guys can beat me. I did it in two arrows, so if you can do it in one. You're way better than your good buddy Uncle Hodge, <laughs> which wouldn't surprise me, by the way. I haven't been doing this for a long time, so yeah. But if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, call your mum, tell her you love her, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.